Hello, welcome back to the Statistics with Open Office course. Today I'm going to be talking about a column chart. Now a column chart is really good for showing how often something occurs or how many instances of something happen in a given time period. So for example, we are once again working for Rob's Diner and we see that in various months we had to close the diner for several days. In January and February we got snowed out a lot. We took a few holidays in April and May and we had a few closures in March as well. So what we're wanting to do is take a look and graph this to show what months we were closed the most in. Now just so we can do this, let's go ahead and change this value here because I don't really, I want us to see a spike kind of in the middle of the graph. So again, making a chart for a column chart, a bar chart, it's all very similar to what we've already done. So we're going to select our values, come to the chart icon, and again, we are looking in this example for a column chart. Now we can give it a 3D look if we want, we can do a lot of fancy stuff, but typically when I see column charts, they're more of a they're more of a traditional look. So let's let's just do the standard box without the 3D look. Now our title is going to be Rob's Diner. And the subtitle is going to be Days Closed Per Month. Now the x-axis, remember the x-axis is the axis that goes across left to right. So this is going to be the month and then our y-axis goes up and down and that's going to be the days, the number of days closed. Okay, so now we have our basic outline of the chart and just like all the other charts that we've been working with, remember that we can manipulate the chart based on how many times we click it. So one click is going to give us these green boxes that allows us to move the chart where we want and if we click twice we can do things such as changing the background area, we can do a whole bunch of things to the outline, to the canvas of the chart if you will. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of a border. Let's go ahead and change this from a white to a little bit of a gray just so we have a little bit of shading in there. And remember we can interactively change the labels on the chart. So I've misspelled Rob's Diner. I should have an apostrophe so let's double click then right click so we can get into this dialog. We're going to add our apostrophe. Everything else still looks good. Now remember we can also change the bars themselves. So one, two, and then three. We bring up this for the data points. Now we can change these to make the data series pop or stand out. So we can change it to orange, Let's go ahead and do that. And then remember, we can also change individual data points. So it looks like May was our best month. So we could highlight May by clicking and then right clicking and formatting a data point. So because we did so good, let's make that green. So we know green is good. So that's just a quick way that we can show how many days we were closed. Now I want to do one more example of a column chart but it's kind of leading into why we would want to create a histogram also. So let's come over here to the second example and we have a customer number perhaps this is customers per hour and we see that we've had five customers and they each spent various amounts. So we select and highlight our values, click on our chart icon, and again we're not even going to really be doing anything really fancy here. I just want to kind of demonstrate the need for what's called a histogram. So let's, let's just give it a really quick title. So we have Rob's Diner, this is the dollars per customer. And we see that customer one spent 10, 
customer 2 spent 15 we also see that customer 5 spent 15 so wouldn't it be nice if what we could do was instead of labeling these two different customers what we would like to do is create something where the amount of dollars spent is grouped together so we could count all the customers that spent zero to ten dollars all the customers that spent ten to twenty dollars and then all the customers that spent twenty to thirty dollars that would allow us to kind of break the customers into different categories and the way that we're going to do that is with a histogram which is what I will be showing you in the next video I hope this has been useful and I will see you for the next video